Yeah. This is day one in Thailand. I arrived last night, had just enough time to go to sleep, and now I'm up better than ever, and I am ready to start a crazy adventure in Thailand. Already, I'm off to a very interesting start. In Hong Kong, they lost my luggage, so here I am in Thailand with absolutely no clothes. As you can tell from the title, we are gonna be looking for some of the craziest seafood that Thailand has to offer. A lot of you might know that Thailand is a little bit notorious for having some of the biggest and juiciest seafood that there is. I am so excited to take you with me on this crazy journey through Thailand. And first things first, we're gonna go check out the markets and see if we can find any super juicy shrimp. Sometimes fun little disclaimers are needed. I have never been somewhere where it is so humid and so hot, so I'm actually experiencing a little bit of heat rash right here on my cheek. So if you're wondering like what the hell is going on with my face, there we go, now you know. It is so hot and so humid here that I am experiencing a little bit of heat rash. But I really wanted to show you guys the view from my beautiful hotel room. Here we are. This is exactly what it looks like in Phuket, Thailand. Right now I'm staying near the water and as you can tell there is a very dense beautiful forest right outside of my hotel with a bunch of million dollar properties residing on the mountain. Something really interesting about Thailand is how their wires are just so clustered in everywhere providing electricity to the whole city. Here's a little glimpse of Phuket. Now time for the seafood market. So about 10 minutes ago, it was pouring rain and now the sun is back out and it is super hot again. So that's just a little bit of the interesting weather Thailand has to offer. These look huge. We might be getting those. Cargo. Octopus and squid. Here is a whole bunch of Thailand exotic fruit, some passion fruit, watermelon, rambutans, mango steens. Hello, how are you? and the good old durian, which is actually a little bit expensive. This one is 300, which means about 10 American dollars. So it looks really good, but it is a little expensive here. Looks like we have some crab on a stick. I've never really seen crab like that. It looks like maybe it's marinated with some sugar or something. So I really wanted to make sure that I was getting the best deal that I could when it came to the shrimp that I found at that market. That market is extremely close to my hotel room, so I didn't want to go to the first market I seen and bought what I thought looked the best, but after doing a little bit more exploring, it turns out those truly are the biggest and the best deal that I could find. So I'm on my way back to the market right now to let them know that I will take some.
after a really long search for the weirdest and best seafood that still looked good, I found it and I am back and I am ready to feast on a seafood Thailand mukbang, baby. Let's go ahead and set this up. So in here we have the Thai prawns. Oh, these are steamy hot. Octopus. Oh my God, I have never tried octopus before and I am a little scared. Oh yeah. Woo, it is so hot in Thailand. So don't mind me, I'm gonna be nice and sweaty. Squid egg rolls. These are so crunchy and jam packed with squid. And there we have it. Before we chow down, let's get a thumbnail in. So I am so excited to try this crispy squid spring roll. Let's go ahead and dip it in some of this. Oh my God. Mmm. Oh my God. The outside is so crispy and the inside is so chewy. So it's just perfectly marinated with all these textures. Mm-hmm. I gotta get another one of those. Oh, yeah. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thailand has been so amazing so far. I am obsessed with all the people, the hospitality, the nature, the ocean. Everything you could want is right here. Let's go ahead and try this squid. I don't know about you, but I've never had squid. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. As you could tell, it's very chewy, very chewy. But it's nice. It has a nice barbecue taste. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Delicious. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I highly recommend it because I'm going to be in Thailand for 20 more days, which means tons of more videos. And after Thailand, I'm headed to Malaysia and Australia, and there is so many travel videos to come. Not only food, but just different parts of different cultures. I'm gonna dive deep so you could really see what I'm seeing. Mm. Oh my God. Those are so good. This is so good. Now let's see what this world famous Thai shrimp is all about. All right, let's rip the head off. Oh, juice is already squirting. Juices are already squirting. Let's go ahead and peel this bad boy. There we go. Let's go ahead and get it all nice and peeled. Oh yeah. There we go. You can have the first bite. Oh yeah. Let's dip this one in some spicy sauce. Mmm. 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 
Oh my god. Mm. That is so delicious. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to just dive right in. Oh, did you hear that crunch? Mm. 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 Oh yeah, come on. Amazing. Mm. Wow. I can't wait to film these every single day while I'm here. Mmm, mmm. So good. Mmm. And I wish you guys could smell this. It just smells heavenly. Here we go. Oh my God. Mm. So if you have not yet seen it, my exotic fruit mukbang that I filmed in Bali has been getting a lot of attention. And I actually got a sponsorship that reached out to me. I haven't concluded anything yet, but I just think it's so cool and so interesting that a company reached out to me. So if you haven't yet checked out that video, what are you doing? Go watch me and my friends eat exotic fruit. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. So delicious. And he barbecued them on a grill. Here's a little clip of him barbecuing them. Dip it in some spicy sauce. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Wow. So freaking good. If you guys have any questions on, you know, how to visit Thailand, please feel free to ask me in the comments and I would love to respond because you know what? I'm starting to realize that a lot of people want to travel, but they're scared to. And if you're scared to travel, please talk to me and I will make sure I clarify anything that's scaring you. Mm. Mm. 
So, I went to check out a gym membership for while I'm in Thailand, and it was 63 American dollars for a month. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, no, try again, $63. Like, that's literally crazy. That's, there's not even a gym back home in California that costs that much. Like, come on now. Not me. You can't fool me. Mm. Last bite of octopus. Mm. Oh my God. So good. Yeah, it's approximately 120 degrees right now in Thailand. But you know, I love it. I'm just soaking it all in. Everyone that's walking around right now is half naked because no one can even wear clothes. It is that hot. I'm not kidding when I say this might be the hottest I've ever felt. And I love it. Mm, mm, mm. All right, guys. I am full and happy and ready to conquer the rest of my day. I really hope you enjoyed today's mukbang. And if you enjoyed it, please feel free to press the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell, because there is so much more to come that I do not want you to miss. So with that being said, I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.